Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for joining me again today. I'm back, your movie guru, with another review. Uh, this time I'm going to be reviewing um, what I thought was a pretty entertaining film uh, that's been out for just a little bit uh, on Netflix. It's called I Care A Lot. Uh, it stars Rosamund Pike, uh, Diane West, Peter Dinklage. And for those of you who don't know anything about it, um, <clears throat> picture a scenario where you've got a very determined lady and the way she has a business and the way that she makes money through this business is she actually targets um, elderly people, senior citizens um, who can maybe no longer take care of themselves or, you know, possibly finagling some medical paperwork saying that they can't take care of themselves. Uh, people, you know, senior citizens that don't have any family and signing them up, you know, becoming their legal guardian and then placing them in retirement homes. Uh, and then as their legal guardian, you know, they get access to their whole estate. Um, so Rosamund Pike plays this character that for a living, this is what she does. She finds, uh, you know, people who are getting uh, senior citizens who, you know, may have dementia or Alzheimer's and, you know, not a lot of family. And then gets them, gets them become their legal guardian and then takes their estate. Uh, so that was, you know, just seeing that type of concept of someone do doing that, I thought that was pretty interesting. And the, the premise of the film is she gets one target who looks, you know, well to do, you know, a prime candidate. Uh, but it turns out that this lady um, is more than what she thought. You know, she has, she looks like she doesn't have any ties, not a lot of family, um, but it turns out that she's actually tied to some pretty nefarious characters. And so when she tries to put this lady in the retirement home, take over her assets, um, there begins to be a bit of pushback that she wasn't expecting. Um, so I'll tell you my review up front, I give it a seven out of 10. Um, it's got a whopping 80% uh, score on Rotten Tomatoes by the critics, but only 37% by the audience. Uh, so 80% of critics who saw this film uh, gave it a positive rating, but only 37% uh, of the audience did. Um, and when I saw that, I think I can help bridge you through the gap as to why um, <laughs> there's such a stark divide. Uh, first of all, I want to say uh, most of you will know uh, Rosamund Pike. Uh, from Gone Girl. Uh, it came out a few years ago. Uh, that's the movie that I can most remember her in. She also does a phenomenal job of acting in that one. So if you haven't seen that one, uh, you like uh, thrillers, I definitely say go and check that one out. Um, and she does a really good job in acting in this one as well. She's a very compelling character. Uh, and I say this all the time, I think characters make films. Um, even if years later you don't remember you know, necessarily the whole plot of a movie or, you know, the details of what happens in a movie, you will remember that character, you know, if they're striking enough, you know, if they leave an imprint on your memory. And I think she does that very well uh, of creating this driven, uh, emotional, direct person uh, who is willing to go through anything and do anything to get what she feels she's owed in life. And once again, I say that once you have that type of protagonist, it's also, you know, you, whoever is the antagonist, they have to be good as well. They have to match that energy uh, to make for a positive film. And Peter Dinklage, I think he does a great job as, you know, who, who plays, he's also an affairs character. And he's like, okay, I'm going to get that lady back that, you know, you've put into this retirement home. Uh, and seeing them go at it, I thought was very entertaining um, in, in ways that, you know, that not exactly typical. It, it's usually in these type of films, you know, you, you've got a hero uh, and, you know, a villain, or uh, lately, sometimes you will have an anti-hero uh, and a villain. This time it's really kind of like you got a villain uh, and a villain and and so i thought that dynamic was pretty interesting um that said so so you know I, i'm saying that 
uh, I think the plot's really good, um, good pacing, uh, lots of suspense. You're always wondering what's going to happen next. Uh, you you, you want to see how this is going to end up, you know, who's going to win in this war between these two. Uh, so it's it, it's got good suspense, good pacing, good acting. You know, why is it only got 30% of audience members, 37% of audience members uh, give it a positive rating? And I I really think it's because, one, I, I think it's if you're just watching for entertainment uh, and, you know, you're not delving too deeply into it, you can overlook the fact that um, it, it's, uh, I, I say this a lot, you know, th there's a story and then there's a story inside the story. Uh, so uh, uh, the reference that I like to use the most is when Godzilla uh, first reappe first appeared in the, I think it was the 40, 40s or the 50s, I can't remember the exact original uh, year that it aired. Um, but, you know, yeah, it's about this giant monster and, and goes on this rampage on Tokyo. He's created by a nuclear bomb. But obviously, you know, having uh, Japan had just been the victim, you know, of an atomic bombing, this, the greater story was of Japanese, uh, Japan's fears, you know, of this new technology that the world had and, you know, what could be the consequences of that. And this one, you know, if you're just watching entertainment, I think you could miss, um, it's definitely uh, a uh, very kind of in your face, uh, very pointed uh, criticism uh, of capitalism, or, or, or at least uh, capitalism once you get into the final stages of it. Um, uh, there's a lot of moments that, that, that you, if you look at this film, you can see that um, that's, it's very much the political ideology, uh, as you can very see it, it's, it's in that vein. It's, it, it gives you a character and then uh, later, uh, as you see in the film, uh, another character um, or an outcome that it, it is very uh, capitalistic and, and you know, the, an outcome that you can only see um, in a capitalistic society. Uh, and so it, it, it kind of tells you, you know, the, the point, the, the greater point of the film uh, outside of the story of the film is, you know, this is what uh, capitalism can encourage. Uh, so I, I thought that was, you know, whether you agree or disagree, you know, I, I thought that was uh, very interesting how they chose to make that point. And that's, you know, having a compelling story uh, and great acting and great pacing and then having... Uh, a greater message beyond that, you know, that's, that's why I believe, uh, it's easy to see why I got that 80% score from the critics, you know, 80% gave it a positive rating, but I think that 37% is coming from, so like I said, so if you miss that message, you know, and, or, you know, if you disagree with that message or you don't like the way that they portrayed it, um, that's going to, uh, color how you feel about it. And then number two, once again, I said this was villain versus villain. And it's really hard to root for either of these characters. Uh, so, you know, if you're wanting to see a feel good movie or, you know, even uh, a thriller, but it's, you know, you've got, you know, the forces of good versus the forces of evil, it's really hard to get into this because you're looking at it like, I don't really hope any of them win. Um, it's hard for me to get invested into them uh, because of that. Um, so th that's why I think that really played into why a, a lot of people gave it a negative rating because this is not a film that by moving in you're going to walk away from and, and feel happy or cheerful about. And I think that's a lot of why it's gotten a score. Um, but that's what I think. I, I enjoyed it. I think you would enjoy it too. 7 out of 10. Let me know what you think. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button if you like what you see. Leave me a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next one.